Dexter plays Cultist Simulator. Welcome back to T's Quest for Immortality. Last episode, we uh, we ruined Mr. Alden's reputation and got the, the new job for ourselves. We're having to be very careful not to go ahead and throw in the passion here, which would dedicate my life to this, and the, I'd get the minor victory. I don't want a minor victory here. We're going for immortality this time. So I'm trying to, to, to stockpile some funds. Let's go ahead while I keep chatting about this. We're trying to stockpile some some uh, some funds so that I can fund the expeditions I need that are going to be coming up. We've cleaned out the Morden shop. We've cleaned out the uh, the the, old, uh, the auction house. We've got a reputation, which is actually I like the restlessness there. You are an acquaintance. Okay, you're, you're going to see if you can find something. That's good. And this should be, yep, three funds. Perfect. Go back in while we continue to work on getting cash. All right, so we got erudition. We're going to go in there and get a glimmering next. Uh, yep, there's a contentment. I might lose my restlessness. Yeah, I'm going to lose my restlessness before I'm, I'm ready for that. Damn it. Didn't want that to happen. Go back in the stag door. Health. I can dream on that uh, dread with fascination, and, and I think, or is it contentment? Yeah, it is with contentment. Will I have it back in time? I won't. But uh, we do have a new acquaintance. This one is going to be unconverted at the moment. But what we are going to do is we're going to actually talk to her about contentment. That'll freeze the timer so that I can push it in for dread. There's the glimmering. Uh, let's go ahead and throw in these two, which we've already attempted once. Do it again. Uh, we get three more. Yes, we did. Good. Uh, yes, you go back in. Do not accept. Mansus. And now I want to dream on the dread with we'll pull out the contentment. Dream on dread. Nope. Dream on dread. <laughs> with the contentment. Start. Get rid of those two things. You're coming through. I could use a vitality, but I'm actually I have I'm getting funds. So that's helpful. What else am I gonna talk on? Is there anything else here I want to freeze as far as timers go? 165, 101, sure. We'll We'll freeze that erudition. Could also get contentment here, but I, I need vitality. It's possible to pull vitality out of there if I want to. All right, am I going to talk to... Yeah, let's go ahead and talk to an acquaintance and convert them on in. There we go. There is my illness. You want... Glimmering. You are done doing that. I don't have a vitality, so let's go ahead and put in the affliction. I get some cash. The 14, that's good. Collect another restlessness you can go back and talk to what is she anyway she's heart oh i don't have one of those let's go ahead and talk to her with this there we go now you become a disciple and who else is i need to put you back in yes Okay, and did I get a Vitality? I did. I just bought Opium instead, though. I bought Health, so I didn't... That's that's, I, that's unfortunate. I don't think I was paying attention to that. The Air Edition is about to expire. Collect my Health. Are you done? Yes, you are done. Great, grab that. You talk about Air Edition while I'm waiting. I don't want to burn it. 
Oh, I didn't need it. Okay, because I failed it once, didn't make me do it a second time. You can go ahead and go away. So now I have a level eight. So I have level eight knowledge. I have level eight moth. All right, I'm gonna give this one more try. No. No. Okay, so I don't have the answer. Uh, it, that means it's probably either going to be knock or edge, or I need to go further. Regardless, I can't go any further until I start doing expeditions. So let me think about how I want to do that. So do these have any, yeah, this, this has one lantern to it. So I could, I could do a couple of these, just store them up and then feed them into my expedition if I need a little bit of lantern. I don't know what passion gives me. It gives me moth. I could also feed those in for moth, maybe. Put that, no, put that up here, right? Oh, no, no, that's the, I'm going to get a restlessness. Vitality gives me heart. I wonder. If I study this and put them together, how much heart can I get? Another three funds? Yep. I'm at 16. Let's keep going. So actually, so I can come down here and talk to him like this. And that 50, that, that 57 timer, if we just let some time go by, you notice it freezes the timer. So we can do that to keep this timer from going, uh, getting out of cycling through what do i have two moth so if i'm going to be doing a summoning the summonings all take either moth or knock pretty much i think one takes edge but if i'm using moth i need four and that's only two I could summon stuff with two knock, but the problem with that is I still need components. One of these things that's up in the six to eight range. I could, well, no, the raw profits two knock, two moth. I could use these guys for. Do I have a knock at five? I do now have a knock at five. So I can use her to knock. I can use the rituals at level six to do summonings. So then I just need something down here. I'm going to sacrifice it to, which if it's a moth would give me a raw profit. Yeah, let's see what's going to happen here. Uh, and you should probably just go in here and start working. Give me more money, buddy. You are... Moth. You are... Lantern and Heart. I don't have enough for the Lantern. King Crucible would come out with 10 Forge. I don't have that much Forge. So that won't work. All right. What are you looking for again? Oh, you need the riddle. She was trying to talk to somebody, but we're not going to do that. I don't have the restlessness going at the moment. I should get a restlessness here in a minute. Now, I want to put in the two vitalities. I'm curious what a lesson of vitality is going to be. I don't remember. Now, you should give me restlessness. No, you gave me fascination and six lantern. I could get a hint. That might be worthwhile. You start. Let's take this. Go down there. 
Fascination is how much? Two moth? I'm probably going to be using that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use that. So you go in there, do that. You give me cash. All right. So now if I summon, let's go see if we can summon a hint. Come here. Um, you come out. You go in. You're the thing that I'm going to burn. That's what the little candle means. You burn it. So with six lantern, I just need two knock, two edge. So this is two knock. And a two edge. I can't use them. So you're not the thing I want to do. What about what is you? You kill a person. That's a bad idea. You burn. Ow. You burn one of those. I don't want to burn those. What about you? You burn. Ah. That's what I want. Let's burn that. Not the fascination. Nope, nope. You. That. There's six lantern. Again, I want the two edge and two knock. God damn it. You, go away. A sunset right. The intensity of radiance. The two knock. And is it edge I want? Can I use a pawn? Hint, summoning from behind the mirrors. I found that. So I'm, I'm a little bit shy on what? I'm not shy on anything, I think, right? I have, I have, no, I have one edge. The pawn doesn't have enough edge. I need to use this guy. There we go. Now we get the, the sharp-edged lantern thing, the hint. The hint was once a mortal, a living mortal, and then a dead one. And now it's something else. This summoning requires lantern for the light which drew them from the mantis of the edge. Yes, yes, sir. We're going to do that. We'll go ahead and running that. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to have her talk to him about the job. Freeze that in place. Excellent. Wonderful. Let's keep going. So this has two heart. Interesting. So with two heart, I can't do a whole lot, but with two lantern, I could. So I could get a, a lesson learned in reason for lantern. Or I can just feed this in. I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. Let's go ahead and do a couple of reasons. There's no reason for there, <laughs> there's no reason for me not to do reason. So we'll do that. Collect those. You go back in. You go back in. Collect my fleeting mem remembrance, which is moth. In the mantis, grabbing. I do, I want to keep promoting. So we're, we're going to go ahead and grab a restlessness, which means I think you're going to be coming out. You're going to go in. He done. He gave me a hint. Nice. You go in to save your, your, your timer there. You are going to come out of here, put the hint in. I want to preserve the hint to its maximum amount. The restlessness where it gets close, if I have to, I'll swap it out, but I don't believe I do. Then we'll talk and promote while we do our first expedition. Uh, do I want to dream on anything? Yeah, let's go here and do that. Throw another health. You're done here. So we're going to go ahead and talk with one of the moth believers the restlessness in the forge am i playing clue or am i playing this damn game all right so now we've got this going i think we are in a good space to go ahead and start the first expedition i'm going to go for the library so it's either the library or the church that you should do first so that you can move your headquarters into it 
And I think we need to do library. So we're going to go in there. We're going to throw in a hint. Um, that gives me eight edge. I can also throw in, I can, I can like go way edge. I can also go forge. I have no forge. I have eight edge, eight lantern. So let's add some forge to this. And I can put in a couple funds. Okay, so. Mr. Thrissoms has forbidden entry into his library. Unfortunate. Let's see what we can do. Expedition needs at least one funds per obstacle. Followers will defeat obstacles. If you run in or run out of funds or followers, the expedition ends. If we look in here, we can see this is the location. Here's the two people we've brought. Here's our two funds. And in a minute, we'll see some other things popping up here. But these are the sum of everything I've put up here as far as my traits go. So if we give it a give it a cycle, it'll it'll update with something new for us. It's the health. Grab some more cash. Now, if I want to, I can try to do another summoning. So let me think here. I've got... I don't have enough lantern yet. And lantern really won't do me. So I'm going to go back in and work. All right, you. Our expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. I can add funds now, or I can send another follower. So here's the challenges right here. If we look at it, we got watchers. And perhaps even ordinary mortals, but quite a number of them. They can be fought, seduced, or deceived. This is... Deceived is moth, I believe. Fought is edged. And seduced is grail. I don't have any grail here. I do have edge... And so I can pump up his edge to get that to be pretty much a guarantee, I think. So we'll do that. We're going to bring our edge to 13. All right. So now we've got six moth. No, six winter. Uh, I could use this to summon a Kelligain. Let's do that. Okay, so we got another disciple here. Um, I'm going to put her in there to talk to her to keep this icy adaption or atmosphere done. Uh, we're going to take the second air edition and we're going to go ahead and throw in two air edition. Which I believe will give me what to two lantern. Yeah. All right. So I still have one fund left. We have the watchers. They are almost certainly regret standing against us, which means I have the strength. Then we've got this guy. Oh no, we just put him in. So we don't. So far, we're doing pretty good. So I have the option to throw in funds, or I could bolster one of these other numbers. And it probably would behoove me to bolster one of the other numbers. I kind of like to make sure I keep hammering on all of those other things. So I'm going to raise my lantern to 13, which means anything that comes against lantern is almost certainly going to be defeated. I will put you in. Get one of my fleeting memories. There. Get my three. So we're up to 18. I like that. All right. So now we want to do a sunset right. Actually, let's pull this out. Sunset right. Oh, sunset right. The icy piece. Great. So that'll give me six moth or six winter. And the Caligain requires two knock. I mean, I hate it when I do that. That, nope, you up there, there, there. And I need forge. I don't have forge.
Okay. I don't think I have. Yeah, I need. I need the forge person out. To do this. So we're gonna go ahead and keep working. You can keep talking about the icy atmosphere. We're gonna wait for this expedition to finish. There is my lesson of erudition, which is two lantern. Uh, she's done talking. I have pawns still. I don't have a restlessness. I could do some commissions. I don't think I'm really yet wanting to do commissions. Let's talk to her. Keep that going. Illness. Great. All right. So now I still have funding. The treasure lies before us. We have defeated everything. Their blood plumps bright, then dark. They should not have opposed us. We move on. I don't need to throw anything else in here. Like I said, I still have one fund to overcome one more obstacle. I don't think I need it. I don't think I need to bolster anything at the moment. I could throw in some some winter. What the hell? We're going to throw in some winter. Take every opportunity to bolster things up that you can. No truth. You're out. You go back in. Thank you. Um, and health. And then you have... The, what does this take again? Erudition. How much time do I have on that? Plenty of time. So I don't think I'm ready for that. I could... Uh, here's a thought. Let's go study a passion for a glimmering. With the thought that this could expire. And turn into an erudition. About the same time that I'm trying to upgrade one of the epics here. I can just upgrade that. Either way, it's fine. All right, so I've got my money back out. Good. How much time do I have on him? He's one minute. I'm going to go for... No. No, 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 that's not, that's not worth it. So... I was thinking about doing this to get a Vitality, but the Vitality saves me one fund. Working gives me three. So, of course not. We will just pay for treatment. There is my illness. Here is my icy atmosphere still cruising. Uh, and I should be actually talking, and now we're done. All right, so here's the first... The Strathacone's treasures. Out into the night, we escape unseen, but the next day there are reports of a fire at Strathcones. Did someone knock a live coal onto the hearth rug, or did Strathcone destroy, destroy the place himself as part of some larger scheme? So, she is winter. She goes back here. I got a little bit of notoriety for that. Uh, you're a lantern, so you get to go back over here. You, sir, are Edge. My funds that I just put in. And you, a disciple of Forge, you go over here. I've got me a hint. So we'll put the hint right there. And then things I've discovered. I have the book, The Wastecott Histories. I've got a book, The Treatises of the Underplaces. I have a book, The Journal of Alessandro Lacroche. You've seen texts. I don't know if I have if you've seen. I have Traveling at Night Volume 3. And last, I have the Locksmith's Dream Stolen Reflections. Excellent. So I got lots of stuff to read. I still have plenty of cash at the moment. I could go right back in to another exploration. Um, I think that what might be good is for us to do a single exploration each run. 
and that we kind of see the outcomes of them as we go on. It also means this is going to go on for a really long time. I might speed that up. Uh, so this comes through. I want to do a summoning. I want to summon a Calgain, which will give me Forge and Moth. So I will have Forge, Moth, uh, Lantern, and Edge. Forge, Moth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, can I speak to... No, I, I'm, I'm, I think I can allocate this to one of the places I cleared out. So I remember. But I think I am going to go back in and line this thing up. So let's go ahead and set this up. And then we'll come back. So this is going to be St. Agnes's next. I'm going to throw in the hint. I'm probably going to back him up as well. So let's do that. This down here. Bring in the leaders, the hint. Um, the assistant. I don't know what I'm dealing with yet. Could be edge. Could be lantern. I really don't have anything that can like really bolster up over here. I could put in heart. Yeah, let's do it all around bit here until we find out what we're doing. And then we'll do that. So let's go ahead and start up St. Agnes's Hospital there. That's cute. Our only echoes walk the hospital halls now, but malice lingers in the air. We must search meticulously room by room. Expeditions need at least one funds. So we're going to go being room by room. It seems to imply that we're going to need a lot more um, lantern. And we can certainly throw that in when it comes time or due for us to do that. When this clears, I want to do the summoning as well. So we'll have to come back to that. When this clears, I'm going to start reading through books. When this clears, I'm going to go ahead and do the affliction. So I got a lot of stuff coming up. Come back and join me in the next episode. But in this last one, we just took out Strathcombe's library. Thanks again. Take care. Bye-bye. Creeping through the shadows In the corners of your mind I go with the windows I run but I don't hide I hear the call of the wild Whispering the name No, I can't be tamed My heart belongs to the night I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a